What's up everyone? Welcome back to part two of the Kitchen Island build video. I am back in the shop and I've got an update for you here. Let me show you what we've got over here. I've made a lot of progress on this thing that I haven't videoed. Um, I just, there was a lot of cutting involved and measuring and a lot of tedious stuff that I just didn't really have time to break out the video camera. But I'm gonna give you a good update here um, of what all I've got done so far. I have the sides and the back completely built and then I'm working on the face frame and then I've got the uh, rest of the plywood for the shelving. I'm going to do one simple shelf in the middle and then it'll have a bottom so there will be two spaces you can store things um, and then I'm working on the top over there. I went with a very simple um, shaker style build for this thing. Uh, that's where you just kind of have the square panels or rectangular panels and just the simple edging around them. So that's what the doors will look like as well. Um, I used pocket hole screws to join all of the face plates together. And then I just used some three quarter inch screws here to screw in these birch plywood panels. Uh, these are quarter inch plywood panels and the material for all the framing is one by two. It's pine. Uh, the bottom of this is just going to get painted white and then it'll have this nice uh, walnut top on it. Okay, I've got my panels cut for the shelves. There's one and the other one. And then I've got my braces put in for the shelving here. We're gonna put the shelves in and then put the face plate on and then work on doors from there. But just went with some simple bracing here and I think it's gonna work out pretty well. Okay, here we are. Everything is installed and all of the pieces are put together. The shelves are installed. The interior has been painted and the face plate has been installed. I went around all the edges, did sanding, make sure everything was nice and flush. There's the back, painted the inside white. And that's all looking really good. And then over here, we have one of the doors complete. Still needs to be painted. And then, uh, I'm one piece short on the material to make the other door, but overall this thing's looking really good. Okay, the next step in this process is to cut the pocket holes on these two boards. 
uh, to join the face plate together for the door. And I'm gonna do that using this Craig jig and then uh, this drill bit, which has a depth stopper on it. And then this helps me get the right angle for the pocket holes. The next step in this process is going to be to cut out the uh, rabbits for the panel to sit in for these doors. really don't know why it's called rabbit. It's not spelled like you would think, not like rabbit, like boing, boing. But uh, anyways, um, to do this, there's a lot of ways you can do this a lot more effectively than what I'm going to use. A table saw is a great way to do this. Um, you can use a router to do this. All of those are far better options. Sadly, I don't have either of those tools. Um, so I use just a little Dremel saw and I just do it by hand um, and it, it works out pretty well. So I'll show you that here. I've got my line drawn here and I just laid the panel, laid the board up flat, put the panel beside it and drew a line. And then I will just use this to come down this line and trim it off. Okay, I've got the other door framed up. Put it all together, the next step will be to cut out the plywood panel, which I'm gonna do, uh, I think, with the miter saw. I'm not really sure yet, but I think that is how I'm gonna do it. Still rocking the headphones, because why not? Okay, here you go. The panel is in place, fits in really nicely. So here is the front of our door, looks very nice. So we got our second door ready, just need to glue the panel in and then put the knob on. Okay, I brought this in the house to do the painting and I've finished painting all of the outside and I'm working now to secure the top. Uh, I'm gonna use these nice little brass L-shaped brackets. Um, they work really well. I've used them on some nightstands that I built. Um, very, very solid, good way to attach everything. Okay, I've got the top set on the base here. I just need to secure it from the bottom which will be a little interesting because I'll have to reach in here, but um, this is looking really, really nice. Once I get this secured and put exactly where we want it, I'm gonna sand the top with 800 grit and then just finish it with mineral oil.
all of the hardware is installed. Uh, let me show you the doors real quick and how I secured those and then we are ready to put some oil on this top. I went with two simple flush mount hinges top and bottom here and then these nice modern style handles. On the inside we have two magnets, uh, magnet latches to help secure the doors and then here's just the flush mount hinges. Both doors came together really nicely. Just simple shaker style doors. And with that being said, we are ready to put some oil on this glorious top. 